Okay. I'm really frustrated with the media coverage of Trayvon Martin's case for so many reasons. One, the boy has been dead for almost a month now. And you're only starting to talk about it now. When Nancy Grace can go out there and find the most random obscure cases that could be settled in quiet, but she makes them big. Like, look at the Casey Anthony case. But that only applies to white children. If something happens to a black child, does it matter? Does anybody care? That, that's what I feel like. Because I don't feel this media coverage is sincere. I feel like... It, it's not even jumping on the bandwagon early. I mean, black people have been talking about this for a while. And then we have the march, and then you see that white people are interested, and now they care. That's that's my perspective on it. Because... I don't know. Another thing that makes me mad is Dr. Drew. And I have problems with him for several reasons, but I will talk to, about the main one that happened today. I'm watching Dr. Drew, and he has D.L. Hughley on there to speak. He doesn't even let the man finish. He just cuts him off. And he, it, it's almost like he was trying to censor D.L. Hughley. Because I knew that D, he wanted to say something. He wanted to get something out there. But Dr. Drew, as soon as he kind of felt D.L. Hughley drifting, he would start talking and then change the question. So D.L. Hughley talked about how his son went to go return a watch and a security guard had pinned him pinned him down at gunpoint because he thought he stole the watch. And then Dr. Drew asked another question, like, do you feel like, how do you feel about America's reaction or something along those lines? And D.L. Hughley, he starts to say that, well, if you want the true reaction, you need to go to, like, these blogs and chat rooms to see what they actually think because what people are, say and what they actually think are completely different because, again, when you're anonymous, you can pretty much say anything. I mean, look at all these internet trolls here right now. And he's right, but Dr. Drew is cutting him off as if to say, like, oh, there's there's not racism in America? What? It's, it's, <laughs> that's preposterous. I mean, we are genuinely sincere. We actually care that little Tyrone Martin Martell is is dead. That that's what I feel like. I feel like Doctor Drew has to remind himself what this boy's name is. Just because to me he's not a sincere person. He's not genuine. I don't feel he actually cares. And then another thing that made me mad was the fact that they're trying to detract from the issue. This was. This is a race issue. This is a race issue. Okay? What is the fact that he w Trayvon Martin was wearing a hoodie got to do with anything? Okay? I wear hoodies. My white friends wear hoodies. My brown friends wear hoodies. My Asian friends wear hoodies. Old people wear hoodies. Young people wear hoodies. My mom wears hoodies. Like, what has that got to do with anything? If it did, then there would be a lot more of us dead right now. And hoodies is just the trend for the youth now. They were killing people back when they were rocking snapbacks and whatever else. To me, this was a modern day lynching. But then you have this white lady calling in like, My son, he's a skateboarder and he's white. And he wears hoodies, Dr. Drew. Are you concerned with your child's well-being? Yes! Yes, I am! And it's like, 
Why are you making it <laughs> into an issue of clothing? At the end of the day, it, it doesn't matter what he was wearing. That doesn't justify the fact that somebody shot him. Killed him. So it's a crime to wear a hoodie now? Right. I don't know. To me, I just find this find it ridiculous. I find it ridiculous. I think they're trying to stereotype it. Like, oh, this black boy, he's wearing a hoodie. Like, what else? Next thing you're going to tell me, okay, his pants was, were sagging. We smelt this aroma, this herbal aroma on him. And that maybe he, he had, like, a knife in his shoe. Like, what else are you going to th throw in there to try and justify it? Because I've heard, I've heard the whole self-defense claim. Self-defense. You are 250-some pounds. And you're claiming self-defense, and you're the one who's following a 17-year-old boy who's only 140 pounds? 140 pounds. You got a solid 100 pounds on him. A full person on him, and you're crying, self-defense. Self-defense. Please, I, I don't even want to hear it. To me, this, this is just so frustrating. This is so frustrating. And it makes me mad, because... Like, you look at Trayvon Martin, and he's a non-threat. He's a non-threat. He looks younger than 17. You might see him and mistake him for 14. But what, what about the boys who, like, look like full-grown men? My brother is a big guy. Or what? And even if it was a full-grown man, is this behavior justified? I don't know. And people are talking about this like it's it's some new phenomenon, some new issue. Like, and then they're like, oh my god, racism, it still exists. Like, with such surprise, such awe at the fact that this is possible. But black people say it all the time, and then they tell us to shut up. But, I don't know, I'm just too...